today on Divorce Court. Two years ago, the judge told us not to get married until we got counseling. I didn't listen. Now I'm paying for it. I think I married Romeo due to the kids, and I think that we, we became so comfortable that that's the only reason why we got married, because we were living together. Brittany's hooking up with other guys. She doesn't communicate, and she doesn't support my music career. Romeo screams and yells at me like I'm his child, and so we haven't had sex in three months. I want the judge to tell Brittany to be a better wife and to start taking care of her family. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Rommel Penner and Brittany Martin. Uh, the two of you are here for a divorce. You were here, however, earlier on my Before Your Vows session. And uh, we're going to take a look at what happened on Before the Vows and then find out how we got from Before the Vows to divorce. If you want to be a husband, if you love your boo to death, you got to give boo what she needs. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you this license, but I don't want you to use it until you've had some counseling because you two do not know how to communicate with one another. And absent communication, your, your marriage does not have a chance. Are you going to promise me that? Yes, ma'am. If I hook it up, you're going to do it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Did you get counseling? No, ma'am, I didn't. But you just got married. Yes. yes I don't say that stuff for my health, you know. Well, you know, I sit here a long time. I'm, I've been out here a while. When I tell you, you don't know how to communicate, you ought to believe a person. You know what I mean? So here we are. Tell me, when did this thing start to go sideways? Basically, we got married last year in May, and uh, ever since, it's been, like, going downhill. Um, she, we was staying in Wisconsin, as you know, but uh, we moved back so we could be closer to her family. Basically, mm -hmm. she made me. She put her foot down, made me come move back down there, which I, I can't stand it. Um, basically, she's not going up because she's around her people, you know, all her friends, her family. So she's not even getting the room to grow up, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like uh, I stopped, stopped putting, investing myself, investing myself in the music and took slacked off. Because I, I did take your advice as far as I have to give her what she wants. Mm -hmm. I was trying to take care of my family, make sure they have everything. So basically, I just I, I, I haven't I haven't even been able to do the things I want to do. My passion as far as the music, as much as I want okay. to. Ms. Yeah. Martin, he's telling yes. me <clears throat> that he moved with you to your small town to, yes, to, for your comfort. That he did what he was supposed to do as a man, as far as providing for you, and that you still aren't satisfied. Your take on that is what? that Romel is still doing the same thing. He's never there. He's disappearing. I, I don't see Romel at all. Like, he does not come home. I'm at the studio. Romel leaves it's at 3 p.m. I don't see not Romel true. until the next day. He's doing the same thing repeatedly. Is he providing for the household? Yes. He's paying all the bills? Yes. Yeah. You got to give him his propers for On that. that yes. You have to give him his propers. He's paying the bills. And you've got six kids, right? All together. All yes. together, you have six children. Mm -hmm. Two together, and you had four from a previous relationship. I had two boys. Two boys. Mm hmm So he's doing that. Right. Right. How is he doing that? What's he doing? He's going to work and paying the bills. Like, that's fine, Judge Lynn. That is fine. But when, Mills, when he's not that's physically not there, physically there, like, where's the father in the household? You're he's lying. gone. You're, you're lying. Li no, you're, you're lying. lying. Stop, 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 stop. So you contend that once he works and pays the he's, bills, he goes about his business and doesn't have any regard for you? Does not care whatsoever. What do you say about that? Do, uh, do you come home at night? Do yes, you? I do. Liar. Yes, I do. She's the one that's not coming home. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? This, uh, she, this, first of all, she doesn't support any, anything that I have going on. She doesn't take seriously. No, because he doesn't, she doesn't include support, me. Let, let him finish. Yes, she doesn't support anything that I got going on at all. I support her dreams of her being a nurse and everything. I'm there for her 100%. But when it comes to my career, she, don't, she thinks it's just child's play. When I'm, you know, when I, when I'm telling her that. What you, is she not doing that you need her to do? Okay, um, for instance, that I have, you know, just made a song, did a good song. It's a very good song, I thought, you know, and I said, baby, come here. You know, I want her to be a part of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Check this song out. You know, I only got time. You know, and you know, it makes me feel bad. You know, no. somebody that's supposed to be in my corner, you know, just brushes me off like, uh -huh. Does like that kind of matter. thing happen? Yes. All the time. Look, let me judge Lynn. It only happens because I get treated this way. I could have, like, I could carry on a like, normal conversation. I'm like, Romeo, such and such, so this happened to me today. I don't want to hear it. I don't have time. That, that, that's nothing to me. I like, to you all why the time. would I have to listen to him when he pays me no, uh, no attention? And l let me tell you something. Somebody's got to be grown, somebody's got to start out. So, the way to get people to pay attention to you is to pay attention to them. 
So you don't say, well, you didn't give me that. I ain't gonna give him none either. When a man brings you his dreams, that's, that's a big deal to him. Yes. And, you, you, and he wants you to be a part of what he's reaching for. You say, yeah, baby, I'd like to hear it. Now, if you feel that it's not reciprocal, then when he's not listening to you, you say, hey, man, I listen to your, your stuff. Well, I need you to hear me. But you don't just, ah, uh, well, since he hasn't. Because who knows who started this nonsense, right? Right. So you got to be woman enough just to, to cut it out. But you never just, you never just pull water over a dude's dreams like that. He wasn't asking you for money. He wasn't asking you to sell tickets. All he wanted to do was hear his song. You know? Yes, ma'am. You believe she's cheating on you, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Why do you believe she's cheating on you? See, I never, I never just walked in and caught her doing anything, but um, she's basically a, a Facebook social media junkie. Mm. That's what I call her. Uh, uh, she's pro pro provocative pictures, but you know what I? No, I do not. Chest he is poked lying. Up no, I do not. With emoji, you know what I'm saying? With, with, <laughs> no, actually, I, brought, I, I brought a picture. That, now that is not showing duck anything. Lips. Nothing. You see the duck lips? Nothing. Nothing. Duck lips. Nothing. Well, that's not too bad. Thank now. you. Yeah, but she also has uh, her DM is popping, so oh, they would say. Um, mm -hmm. Every time you look around, look in her inbox, and it's some guy. Hey, how you doing? What's okay. going on? Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. I'll give you an instance. Of what happened? Um, about a month or two ago, I, she gets a. Uh, she left her. Didn't log out of her Facebook. I look at it. Um, hey, what's going on? What, what are you doing tonight? Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop him off. Him off at seven, and it's whatever after that. I'm your husband. I'm not no him. I'm a him, but I'm not. I'm a he, but I'm not no him to her. No. You know. For real. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, just have more respect. Ms. Martin, do you, re do you recall that instance? Yes, I recall. Why don't you tell me your version of that event? My Please version is Please I asked do. Romeo, hey, I, this is earlier that day. We need to spend some time together. Romeo, well, I, got, I got to go to the studio. I got something to do. This That's is all true. the time he pushes me away when I want to spend time. So I stood him up. He wanted to spend time, and when he thought I was there, he came home. I was not there. I was at my mother's house. Mm -hmm. was not even at home. What about that message? She yes, got, I did. She ain't got stuff. I did stutter. say that. I did. I'm not going to lie. To a guy? Say, yes. Yes, ma'am. To a guy. So what we need to talk about now, Ms. Martin, is the choices that you make with respect to who you want to talk to when you're mad at your husband. Exactly. exactly. I did not make him come. I gave him an ultimatum. I said, I'm going home. I didn't yeah. make him come. I, did I made not. him an ultimatum. Because yeah. he treated oh, me so Ms. bad Martin. up there. Oh, my God. Ms. Martin, by your own admission, you say that you have conversations with and seek the attention of other men because your husband is never there. Explain that to me. Romeo has cheated in the past several times, have got caught red-handed several times, and he expects me to just... Well, he, spoke, he can come in and say, well, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to. I'm not supposed to just look over. I'm tired of looking over it. Now, he, he thinks I'm past. a doormat. If I let Romeo keep doing it's this, true. he's going to keep well, doing it. Has he been it. cheating since you got married? I don't know. No. He's never there, never. so how would I know? I'm always just, he doesn't include me in his music at all. I expect, like, if you... What if he, he asked you to hear a song and no, you said no? Exactly. He want, like, I want to exactly. go with you to the studio. Invite me to come check it out while you're doing it live. Like... I don't see you, and you, you pop up two days later. Check this out. I, of course I don't want to hear it. That's I do not want to hear it when I've been calling you and calling. That's not true. And you're ignoring let, let, let me ask you a question. When the two of you got married, did you have conversations? Was everything yes. cool? He, he hadn't been cheating? No. None of that? None of that. Did this change when you moved? It changed when we moved. He was doing Listen it there. It. We got down here, and he was fine. And then he slowly but surely started disappearing. That's not true, Yana. No, you're not there. That's not true. That's not true. Not there. I got to call That's you true, when it's Yana. time to eat. No. I'm putting your plates in the microwave. Like cold like I'm wasting That's time. Not true, well, no, 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 let's 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 just back up a little bit, Mr. Pinner. Okay. Do you absence yourself from the home? I mean, you know, you you are working. Yeah. And that takes time. That it takes does. him away. Do you spend your free time pursuing that other dream? I'm not saying it's bad or wrong. I'm just asking you to look back and take a look about the quantity of time that you spend. Um, in the past, I was 85 to 90 percent going hard on, on my music career. Now it's back. It's down to like 50 to 60 percent because I wanted to change for her and my family. I wanted to be there more, so mm -hmm. I am in the house more. She basically, I think that she is 
uh, scared of my success. That if one day something happens, that, I, that all the attention will be away from her. So I think she's trying to sabotage what I'm trying to do no. as far as musically. Because do you ever, understand no. what she's talking about when she says you're never there? I am there. She's lying. Judge Lynn, she's a, please, she's now a, she's say a big liar. Judge Lynn, I'll tell please. you that now. Yes. I, this is here recently. I called Romeo didn't come home. I didn't see him, so I called the studio where I know that's probably where he's at. Nobody picks up, so I called his producer's girlfriend, and I was like, "Hey, have you seen Romeo? You know, he's I know he's probably there because he told me earlier that's where he was gonna be." I haven't seen Romeo. Me and you know, me and QP are That's sitting not right true, here. Honey. He's not, not here. That's so not true. I'm like, okay, so I call my sister, take me by the studio. Go down there. My car is not there. He's not there. They haven't seen him all day, but then he walks, he walks in 10 minutes before I have to go to work and say this is where he's been all day. Who's lying? They're not You're lying. lying. He's lying. You're lying. Because she straight now, up. Now, so told what? Me. now well, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Do you when the When's your work day? From when to when? From now I'm working first shift, but I was working midnight shifts. Uh huh. So I, I I really don't have no time but go to work and try to go to the studio when she doesn't have plans to go out with her friends no. and 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 do the things that she want to do. Did he improve about the amount of time that he was spending with you? I mean, he certainly improved yes. about the economic thing. Up there, he did improve until, I, until we, I wanted to move back down here, and I did not make him come. I gave him an ultimatum. I said, I'm going home. I That's didn't yeah. make him come. I, I made not. him an ultimatum. Because yeah. he treated oh, me so my... bad up there. Oh, my God. You're lying. I, couldn't, I didn't leave the house. He didn't invite me nowhere. I was, I was a prisoner in my own home. Like I said, the I moved, past, the past moved, is the no. past. Why would you marry somebody? I told somebody him. I said, I'm going like home. That? Why would you I marry said, somebody? Hey, if you hey, 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 hey. And he came. I didn't make you come anywhere. No, but I came because I love you and I love my family and I was trying to make it work. So why would you marry somebody that you hate? You know, Romeo, if you got a problem with me, talk to me. I can't okay. talk to me. Hey, 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 hey. I can't feel myself after we argue all day, after I look in your, at your text saying. messages and all this type of thing. I'll come and you know, be intimate with you, lay up and, uh, and How, kiss on you, lovey dovey. He's no, revealing that, that like his other no women's more. photos on Facebook as well. Yeah, you've been I, called. I might as well be because you on Facebook. Miss Mark, Miss Mark, Mark. Talk, talk to me. Hey, 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 hey. Talk to me. Do you consider inappropriate texting and social media activity cheating? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. I understand that this thing is unraveled to the point where there is no intimacy in the marriage. You guys aren't even sleeping in the same room at all. No, we're not. No, at no, all. We're not. No. Nope. How long has that been going on? For about going three for to four about, months. It's been to, it, no. It's no, been yes, it has. He's moved out. I'm gonna tell you the last room. time I was He's a on the living room. I excuse, a, excuse me, can on, I hang talk, on, please? Hang on, hang on. Please. Like I said, you know, see how she do That's how she does at home. Whatever. So basically, a month ago, you know, she comes in, you know, a little tip. I guess her trick didn't answer the phone that she been messing with. And she, you know, she comes, I guess she feeling, feeling some type of way, you know, uh, uh, want, want some. So she come in there uh, touching on me. I, had, I was a little tipsy myself, so I obliged her. You know what I'm saying? He's you know, mean. I, I never want to have sex. He's so, so mean. Basically, no, you're basically to me, it's just, it was, that's what it was. It was just sex. It's not no, no, I, I can't feel myself after we argue all day, after I look in your, at your text saying. message and all this type of thing. I'll come and you know, be intimate with you, lay up and, and, and How, kiss on you, lovey-dovey. He's no, revealing that, that like his other no women's more. photos on Facebook as well because yeah, you've been I, called. I might as well so because you're on Facebook. Mark, yes, yes, talk, talk to me. Hey, yes, hey, 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 hey. Talk Whatever. to me. Yes, ma'am. So he's, li he's liking other women on yes, Facebook? Yes, I went through his phone. Uh -huh. I, got, I went through it. Like, 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 comment, comment. How are you getting on to me when you're doing the same thing? He's doing the same thing, but you're pointing fingers. When I catch, I catch him all the time. So how can he be mad at me when he's doing it? Is there anything in this marriage you want to want to take responsibility for? Anything that you've done that may have contributed to the state that you two are in now? My fault is not listening to him when he want, when he wants to confide in me. That is my fault. I, I just I choose not to listen to him at all. I block him out completely. And why is that? Because when I've tried, in the past, when I've tried, like I was that person where I've cried, I've pleaded with him, just listen to me, hear me out. He didn't want to hear it. And I feel like at this point, I show no emotion because I feel like he took it. He took what I had. He Why'd took it and ran with it. Why'd you marry me then? 
That's you were what I you, know. you wasn't acting like this. You just started doing this. Yeah, and you know it. Oh. What do you think ran this thing off the rails? You married her, so, you know, at that point in time, things had to be somewhat cool. What do you believe ran this thing off the rails? When we moved back to her hometown. That's what ran everything in the ground, basically, because she got... Were you resentful that you had to go? And did you act yeah. on that resentment? No, I, I wasn't resentful because I love her. Anytime a man loves mm -hmm. his family and, and his wife, he's, he's going to make sacrifices. It was a sacrifice I had to make, and I made that sacrifice. He what I, what I, and but, what I am but, resentful but, but, for just is her point. not support me in my career, in my music just, career. Hang on, Ooh. hang on. That's what I'm but, 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 you know, a man sacrifices for his family. Absolutely, no doubt about it. But a man can also be resentful. That's human nature. Are yes, you sure that you behaved in a manner that, that was, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a cranky compromise? Mm. Maybe. Yes. Uh, maybe to a point. Yes. But, like I said, I, a man, I suck, I suck that up. You know, I suck it up. I take well, you might up. not have sucked as much up as you thought. Maybe yeah. I you know, maybe, maybe it might have been a little more edgier right. than you thought. Well, I, I think I see what's happening here. I think maybe I might be too late, but I'm an eternal optimist. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Why do you think Rommel and Brittany have emotionally abandoned one another? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. There is only one way, and one way only, this thing is going to work, is that if you decide today to hit the reset button. In other words, you would have to leave here and stop saying, remember when, back in the day, when we were first over here and you treated me like that, so this is how I feel about you now, so I can't do that anymore. You have to let that go. You have to leave that alone. You're not going to make it up. You're not going to get even. You're not going to stay cranky about it. You have to put a period on that. What you have to focus on is the fact that this man married you, left his hometown so, he could, so you could go somewhere where you're comfortable, and scaled back on his dreams in order to support you. He did three huge things that you can focus on instead of all that nonsense in the past. That's a decision that you're going to have to make. It is not to be discussed with sisters, brothers, mothers, or others. It is to be made in the sanctity of your home and in the silence of your heart, because you have to sit down and decide what's more important to you, a solid home for yourself and your children, or that stuff he used to do six years ago that hurt your feelings, so now I'm not going to listen to his music. That's what I'm going to say there. <laughs> Mr. Penner, I think you have the ability to change. I think you're a little more mature than she is. I think you probably made some mistakes back there, out there, but you did a three major things that I think speaks to your character. She's a little immature. You need to bring her along a bit. Um, I would ask you to stay the course just for a moment longer. If she can hear me, if she can listen to me, maybe this time go to counseling so you can learn how to communicate. But you got to leave the past in the past. And when a woman says, you can't, when women say things, you got to learn how to speak woman. <laughs> when a woman says you're never there, that's not really the literal truth. You can't say, no, but I was there th three Thursdays ago. And, and that's what y'all do, because that's, cause she said you're never there. She says, I, she's telling you I'm lonely. I understand what you're saying. I'm going to send you two to a therapist. I'm going to hopefully she sends you to someone closer into your town. But did you hear what I say yes, about growing up and being a woman? Yes, ma'am, I heard you. You going to try? Yes, ma'am, I will try. Best of luck to the both of you. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>We've been here for two times now. I think maybe, you know, we need to listen to the judge and, and get some counseling, some help, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I love her. She's a beautiful woman. I still am uh, very attracted to her, and I love my family. I just think I need to change up some of my ways and be a little bit, be a little bit more attentive to what's going on with him instead of being selfish, because I have been selfish.